In a world where underwater threats are becoming increasingly sophisticated, modern technology plays a key role in ensuring security. The unmanned submarine manta ray from Northrop Grumman is capable of operating autonomously, swimming over long distances, and at the same time remaining as silent and inconspicuous as possible to enemies. What is not the ideal predator to be feeding on enemy submarines? Want to know? We'll tell you right now. Manta rays are social creatures that frequent the tropical waters of the Great Barrier Reef. Due to their friendliness and curiosity, they quickly became one of the most beloved underwater creatures among divers. Northrop Grumman apparently also shares the same boundless love that divers have for these graceful sea creatures and decided to display its inspiration in the form of the Manta Ray Project, a new class of unmanned underwater vehicles. Besides, if you're one of the most powerful military companies that have spent billions of dollars on creating the best stealth aircraft, then why not apply the accumulated knowledge in a completely different element, diving straight from the airspace into the water? This drone was developed as part of the U.S. Navy's global plan to create a long-range underwater weapon. And at the origins of its development, in addition to Northrop Grumman, there was also the well-known DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. The project developed very quickly. In 2020, DARPA announced the development of a UUV. In December 2021, it signed contracts for the second phase with Northrop Grumman and Martin Defense Group. In May of 2024, the device was then shown live, ready for testing. The main goal of Manta Ray is to become the best representative of UUV, conducting long-term autonomous operations at great distances and depths without the need for logistical support from a human operator. At first, many believed that the device would be made small. However, when its live photograph surfaced, many, to put it mildly, were taken back by the dimensions of the drone. It really did look like a monstrous stingray. Based on satellite imagery available right now via Google Maps slash Earth, the UUV's wingspan is about 45 feet and its overall length is more than 33 feet. For comparison, Boeing's other famous underwater drone, the Orca Echo Voyager, is 51 feet long but much narrower than the Manta Ray. With the Remus Remote Environmental Monitoring Unit's series of autonomous underwater vehicles, AUV, Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, is the largest representative. The Remus 6000, which is only 12.6 feet long and 28 inches in diameter, making it more like a torpedo than a drone when compared to the Manta Ray. Although the Manta Ray will be many times larger than its sister of the same name and will require a personal crane with a special frame for launching and lifting from under the water, Northrop engineers managed to make the transportation process as simple as possible. According to the team, the system was designed to be able to transport the vehicle in five standard shipping containers to support expeditionary deployment and on-site assembly anywhere in the world. This video, published by Northrop Grumman in 2022, featured a computer rendering of a manta ray powered by four small propellers. But photos and videos of a full-size test prototype recently published by the Northrop team showed two four-blade rear propellers instead of four. Brian Theobald, Principal Investigator and Chief Engineer for Manta Ray at Northrop Grumman, said that the device received a truly interesting movement mechanism. Falling forward with purpose through the water all the time, both upward and downward, when Manta Ray needs to go up or down, it changes buoyancy by pumping seawater to change the weight of the vehicle. Gliders only need to change buoyancy for a few minutes at the top or bottom of their path. The rest of the time, they glide forward using minimal power and energy. This technology makes gliders operate more efficiently, which will enable Manta Ray to save power for long missions. The UUV design allows for increased payload capacity while maintaining the ability to operate smoothly over very long distances. According to the structural engineer at Northrop, Haley Sipanuski, it's not a one-to-one -one scale with typical glider UUVs, because of its size, we added more buoyancy engines, a bigger payload bay, an enhanced towing system, and an extremely efficient and large hull system. Unfortunately, information about exactly what engines were used in the device, as well as details about its payload, are still shrouded in mystery. The Manta Ray is designed to be able to anchor itself to the bottom at any time and hibernate in a state of minimal power consumption until required to perform whatever mission it's configured for. To achieve this goal, Northrop's UUV uses energy-saving technologies. 
the exact nature of which is still unknown. According to Theobald, cooperation with the company Seatrek specializing in renewable energy technologies has greatly helped Northrop. One thing he named Mission Unlimited Unmanned Underwater Vehicle Station, a unique solution to a problem that's plagued UUV research teams for years. How to recharge a remotely operating UUV quickly and efficiently and retrieve mission data without bringing the vehicle onto the ship deck. The Mission Unlimited UUV station combines Seatrek's thermal energy pod, which extracts energy from the ocean's temperature gradient, the temperature difference between warmer mixed water near the surface and colder water below, converting it into electricity, with Northrop's own invention, self-insulating wetmate electrical connector, enabling submerged underwater connections. The Northrop team claims that its connectors will not be limited to just transferring power between Mission Unlimited UUV station and Manta Ray, but we'll also be able to send large amounts of information from the UUV to the Mission Unlimited UUV station and then to a satellite or ship using data bubbles, which will make Manta Ray even more autonomous. The data bubbles themselves are miniature electronic devices that store data. After being released from the station, they float to the surface and begin transmitting data to shore, a satellite or ship, using an RF satellite communications antenna. Another possible solution to the problem of sufficient energy for maximum UUV autonomy could be RED, reversed electrodialysis technology. Given this, engineers could use a stack of alternating cathode and anode exchanging perm-selective membranes with compartments between membranes filled alternately with fresh water and salty seawater. The difference in water salinity will create voltage across these membranes, which can be captured and converted into electricity. These points are important not only because of the power of manta ray, but also because one of the biggest challenges for crewed or uncrewed deep sea platforms is communications. While surface platforms can safely rely on radio communications, underwater platforms have a hard time. After all, standard radio transmissions cannot penetrate salty ocean waters with high conductivity. For example, American nuclear ballistic missile submarines have to rely on very low-frequency signals transmitted by massive antenna complexes located at five sites around the world. And even if these stations are destroyed by the enemy, the United States will raise a fleet of specially equipped Takamo take charge and move out aircraft, which will deploy mile-long antennas while flying over the ocean and will be able to continue transmitting signals to submarines. Manta Ray, with its data bubbles, will help avoid such drastic measures and maintain communication between what is happening both above the ocean and in its endless depths. Let's be honest, the world's oceans have ceased to be peaceful for a very long time. And over the past decades, as China and Russia race to develop their own unmanned underwater vehicles, this is even more true. Although if the PRC was indeed developing secret UUV projects, that in the case of Russia, the greatest threat to U.S. security is not so much UUVs as their Barai-class nuclear submarines. In February of 2024, the fifth vessel of the modernized Barai A-class, Nyaz Paharsky, was launched. It's almost five times quieter than Russian Shuka-class submarines and, according to some sources, even quieter than American Virginia-class nuclear submarines. Additionally, in recent years, information has increasingly surfaced about the Russian multi-purpose system Status-6, or Poseidon. This high-speed nuclear torpedo can travel up to 10,000 nautical miles at 100 knots underwater, then lie low in ambush in an enemy harbor, awaiting the command to detonate its nuclear payload. Moreover, even despite the reduction of the originally conceived figures of several megatons to the more mundane megaton or so, such an explosion would still be 60 times stronger than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It would be extremely difficult for the U.S. to track all these threats, even with the help of the existing fleet. Let's not forget that we're talking about millions of square miles of water. This is where the UUV manta ray and other DARPA developments will come to the rescue of traditional vessels, becoming a powerful addition to the American anti-submarine arsenal, providing a stable armed presence deep underwater, which Moreover, will be almost impossible to detect in hibernation. That is, the enemy submarine will not notice the presence of the Manta, but the UUV will perfectly see it, identifying the target and tracking it for weapons, and then attack it at the most opportune moment.
Thus, it would be simply unrealistic for China and Russia to sneak a submarine or nuclear torpedo into any of the American or Allied harbors. It's clear that manta ray alone will not solve the problem, but what if there are hundreds or even thousands of such devices? One thing's certain, today the U.S. military services are betting on unmanned systems and it will definitely pay off. Do you think UUVs will be able to change the very essence of naval combat? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.